It's a time of year when cozy and comfort food is in. My sister Melissa Didio recently stopped by to share two of her favorite fall recipes. Since it's officially autumn and the cold weather will be here before you know it, we thought we'd have our own little fall soiree. And joining me right now is someone I've never seen before. Who the heck are you? Um, your brother? My sister, Melissa <laughs> Didio, who I affectionately refer to as chef of the future because not only is she a wife, a mother of four children and a dog, she always makes time to cook. It puts the rest of us to shame. It really does. <laughs> not so, that hard. Who inspired you to start cooking? My mother, our mother. True, 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 She's true. She's an amazing chef, except she only kind of stuck to the Latin food. Mm -hmm. And I branched out a little bit more. So. You branched out. And so for folks at home, uh, you say you can have a fall soiree, a little yes, fall go part. pumpkin picking, go apple picking, come home and have a great soup, have a pumpkin roll, and your guests will be more than happy and, and thankful. <laughs> and a vino on the side never course, hurts either. Yes. So today you are making what? What is the soup? This is butternut squash soup with smoked sausage and corn. Okay. Yummy, yummy. What do we do first? So we're going to start with the onions. Sauteing some onions. Saute the onions for before a few you, Before you sauteed the onion, you had one medium to large size butternut squash? Yes, which I preheated the oven to 400, cut it in half, flip it over, and I put it in the oven for about... 40 minutes till you could feel the tenderness. This, it was very soft. Okay. And then you take it out and you let it cool a little bit so you don't burn your hands. Right. I've actually done this with you before and the good tip here is aluminum foil so that the squash doesn't stick to the cookie sheet and right. uh, wait till it cools off. If not, your little digits get burnt yes. and that's, nobody has fun not nice. with that. So All we right. have the onions going and then after the onions, you get yourself a smoked sausage. Slice it. Slice it up. Does it matter what kind of smoked sausage? Can it be turkey sausage? Can it, it can be... be any kind you want. Okay. I, of course, like the pork. I love swine. Yes, nothing wrong with a yeah. little swine. <laughs> you had me at swine. <laughs> All right, so while you're doing that, I'm just going to scoop out a little bit more of this. That would be great. Butternut squash. And, and the do good this thing in a blender. about this is you can use your own chicken broth if you have, or any kind of store bought chicken broth is wonderful. So this is really the going to become the liquid part yes. of the soup. Okay. And while I've got this going, I'm also going to add some corn. You could use fresh corn that you've cooked and cut off all the kernels or a can of corn, which is a lot easier. Can you use frozen corn? You can, but make sure it is defrosted. Okay. Whoops, lost an onion there. Well, wouldn't be the first time you lost an onion. Okay, um, so that's good. Now just okay. put the chicken broth inside. And how much chicken broth? Well, you want this consistency to be like baby food. So okay. put about a quarter of this container in. And make a mess. No this mess. Is, I, I've been known to be my sister's sous chef at home, and I <laughs> single-handedly turn everything into a disaster. Okay. Where's the mapin? Right Thank there. Thank you. And we're going to hit the puree button. All right. Hold Got on it. for dear life. Wow, this thing actually works. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Okay, you might have to add a little more liquid. See, Let's add again, a this, more is, liquid. this is the part when I turn everything into a disaster. Not at all. Okay. All right. Let's get some more liquid mm -hmm. in here. More liquid. And is this something you can make the night before? or Make the night before, roast the, the butternut the night before, whatever. It, you can do it, you know, an hour before your party. Are we hitting this with salt and pepper? This I'm going to hit with salt This and doesn't get? Okay. No, you know what? Let's actually put a little ah, more. All right. So sorry. So sorry. All I right. really want this to blend up. Okay. okay so once this is all that. blended. Yep. We're going to add a little salt and pepper. Okay. Into here. And let's just pour that in here. Perfect. And this is also, I might add, pretty healthy. I think. There is no cream. There is no butter. Just a little bit of oil in the pan. Here, and add let's some get more chicken, chicken broth. broth. It's like I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> and well, we, we always finish a, yeah, each other's I sentences. Know. We have one prepared here. The magic mm. of TV. Serve that up. Let's go. By the way, suddenly I have friends here that I never had before because mm. they were like, oh, my soul <laughs> sister's here cooking in the kitchen. Alrighty. Okay. Um, I'm going to taste this because it's so good. Mmm. Yummy. Really yummy. So we did the soup, pumpkin roll. We have how many eggs? We have three eggs with a cup of sugar. Okay. Wet ingredients separate from dry Wet ingredients. ingredients. Nope. First you have to blend this. Oh. Mix this up. Hurry up. We don't have a whole lot of time here, sister. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. All right. 
And now you add two thirds of a cup of the pumpkin. A can that you can buy at any grocery store. Yep. Next. Next, you're going to add all the dry ingredients, which is two thirds of a cup of flour. flour. Baking soda, soda. Baking soda. Baking powder. Baking powder. What's this? Looks this like tree bark. Is cloves. Ground cloves. Wow. Cinnamon. Cloves. And whip that together. Some salt. You're going to whip it all together, and then you end up putting it on a baking sheet sprayed with some wax paper. All right. With some uh, the wax paper with some spray nonstick. So that and you're going to take all of this and. Spread it onto here. I but mean, you're she even make brought it. a Halloween. <laughs> she even brought a Halloween thing. Yes. It looks like this once it's been put in the oven. Right. And, it and tastes... you have to roll it with the filling, which is made of cream cheese, um, powdered sugar, and butter. Which is anything with cream cheese and powdered sugar is delicious. Is really delicious. And the finished product, after you roll it, you will end up with, with this. this. And I'm going to use my hands. Because I'm an animal. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think anyone's going to like this. You should just leave that for me. Mm. Sorry, really? I was told to bring it back home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Melissa Didio, I don't think I've ever said your first and last name like that. Together. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Your fall soiree is just a couple of pots away. Thank you so much. Thank Taste you. it. Mwah. It's really good.